The final chapter in our Alaska adventure takes us to Talkeetna near Denali National Park. We spend the night in Anchorage and say goodbye to our traveling companions. The rest of the way we go alone. We head north in our rental car to Wazilla. We stop long enough to confirm that you definitely cannot see Russia. The next few hours we drive to Denali State Park. I'll bet this is a very scenic road, but the gray skies revealed little of that hidden beauty. Denali State Park is on the southeast border of the National Park and has arguably some of the best views of Denali, but as you can see, we're socked in. We meet our guide, Mackenzie, for a six mile nature hike. We're hiking around Byers Lake, on clear days, Denali, reflected in the lake, is postcard perfect. No motorized vehicles are allowed here, so there's a quiet tranquility. Mac, as our guide likes to be called, is very good with mushrooms. She says that these have all popped up in the last two weeks. These fly agarics are very pretty, very plentiful, and very hallucinogenic. There are also a wide variety of berries, making this prime bear country. Two grouse walk down the trail in front of us. People have been here for a while. This is an old settler's cabin. We work our way around the lake, enjoying the views, the reflections of the clouds, and the beginning of fall colors. A variety of mushrooms and berries line the trail. At the end of the lake, we cross a suspension bridge over Byers Creek. There's still a few sockeye salmon headed upstream. Some fishermen are trying their luck here too. The trail gets muddy and reveals bear tracks. This one's fresh. See how long the nails are? There are moose here too. We take a side trip up to the Cascades, a picturesque waterfall feeding Byers Creek. The moisture around the waterfall is good for mushrooms and fungus. More bear signs, fur stuck in tree sap. And more tracks, probably ermine. We're back on the lake trail now and the weather is getting better. We stop for a snack and enjoy the view. Denali is just out there behind those clouds. A pair of trumpeter swans glides by. Mac gives us a fungus lesson. They are really two symbiotic organisms, a fungus and an algae. This one's my favorite, probably because of the name. The summer is short here. Fall colors are starting to show. Across the lake, the sun is lighting up the hillside. Hopefully a good omen for our Denali flyover tomorrow morning. We're almost back to our starting point. Just a few more mushrooms. Thanks to Mac for a great outing, we got some needed exercise and learned a few things too. We backtrack south to Talkeetna. We find our home for the next two nights, the Talkeetna Alaskan Lodge. We check in and grab a late dinner 
will be up early for Denali. In the morning, the cloud cover is heavier than yesterday. We check in with Talkeetna Air Taxi and confirm our fears. Our Denali flyover this morning is scrub due to the weather. We'll try again tomorrow. We have some time to kill, so we explore beautiful downtown Talkeetna. The streets are lined with gift shops and activity kiosks for river float trips, fishing, jet boats, and of course, Denali flyovers. Talkeetna is an unincorporated area of less than a thousand people, and even less during the winter. Some of the buildings date to the early 1900s, when this place was a supply center for miners and settlers. We stopped by Nigley's store, hoping to meet the honorary mayor of Talkeetna, but he was recuperating. Mayor Stubbs was badly mauled by a dog, but a full recovery is expected. This picture is from his Facebook page. We have another hike scheduled with Alaska Nature Guides this afternoon. We meet our guide, Justin, from Hawaii. We're hiking in the Talkeetna Lakes. They're imaginatively named X, Y, and Z. A family of Morgansers is sitting on a small dock. Mom Duck is immediately in the water, encouraging the rest to follow. Eventually, she succeeds and the family swims away safely. More mushrooms. Lake X is absolutely still. The birch and spruce forest reflects perfectly. A few cottonwoods grow along the shore. The best thing about fungi are the great common names. We get a glimpse of Z Lake through the trees. Looks like great moose country. Justin is very knowledgeable about plants, especially ones with edible or medicinal uses. While the Devil's Club berries are bad, the root makes a medicinal tea. We can see a little bit of Y Lake and more interesting lichen and mushrooms. We wrap up our hike with a grouse. Then back to the lodge for dinner and to pack. The weather today is worse than yesterday, but we check in at Takitna Air Taxi anyway. No flying today, so we head to the world-famous Talkeetna Roadhouse for a hearty breakfast. The weather didn't allow us to fly over Denali, so we'll have to come back. But for now, we start down our long road home. Besides all these pictures, our souvenir of this great trip is a mask to add to our collection. It's entitled Red Salmon by Aleutian artist David Grote. 